Top of the morning to you, or whatever time it is where you're at. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of scents from Mythical Beards. We've got Leprechaun, and I think I'm going to release this on St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day. We've got the March scent of the month, which is called Gin. And then we also have the uh, another release here that's going to be limited, which is Freya or Freya. I'm not exactly sure how you say that, but we're going to be talking about all those in just a second. So welcome, guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And some pretty cool scents here. Um, the mythical scents tend to be a little bit on the stronger side. Um, I had a, a lot of people recently been sending me messages about what they like strong scents. So I would definitely classify mythical beards as such. Um, out of these three, the gin, the gin is the strongest, and then the leprechaun, I would say, is second, and then the Freya is the uh, is the, the least strong, and I would call that kind of a medium scent. The other two are a little bit more on the stronger side, uh, but I'm not going to put like all, I'll list the prices, but I won't talk about all of them, but $15.99 for an oil. If you get the Legend Blend, which I uh, highly recommend is $19.99, you can get uh, air fresheners and wax melts and uh, colognes and everything else. So uh, a lot of choices for you there. By the way, you can always save 15% with the code Banjo15, and I think we've got free shipping at the $50 mark. All right, so where do we start? I guess we'll start with the, the Leprechaun here since it is St. Patrick's Day. By the way, I think I know all of these are going to be available through the end of March. And a, a couple of these, the Freya and the Leprechaun, may be a little bit longer, I think. Uh, Andrew said maybe into April for those. But Jen is the scent of the month, so it'll be going away. And a new one will be coming on uh, April 1st. So Leprechaun is Luck of the Irish Cologne. Uh, so it's Irish Tweed, Tobacco, Pink Pepper, Suede, and Citrus. So uh, you can get a little bit of that citrus back note to it, which to me um, kind of makes it a little bit more like uh, instead of uh, you know, your green kind of smell. You get the Irish tweed cologne with the back note of like an orangey uh, citrus. So if you like kind of woodsy citrus, but this is definitely a cologne take with the Irish tweed cologne in it. And then uh, not much on the tobacco, but the I would say the, the pink pepper suede and citrus uh, kind of mixes in with the Irish tweed and the tobacco. Uh, I really enjoy it. If you like the uh, first scent of the month, I think it also had the Irish tweed in it, the calf bad. Uh, this is a little bit different take with the uh, with the citrus on the end but if you like that one i think you'll probably like this one too so that one is leprechaun all right next up we have uh we'll do the scent of the month here the gin uh and that one is um mythical persian tobacco so this one has got all of your nag champa and incense and kind of stuff in it so it is tobacco clove incense nag champa and cashmere all right so you get uh and the, the specific type of tobacco that andrew uses is pretty pretty potent so you get that but then right behind it or at the just about at the same time you get the clove incense nag champa and that uh, kind of makes it a divisive kind of scent because a lot of guys either they really love that scent or they really don't like that kind of scent so that's up to you uh this one's not an overly Incensey, you do get it. You get it quite a bit, but it's not too much for me. I tend to not like the uh, clove incense nag champa if it's too strong. This one I can I actually like okay um, because of the tobacco with it, but also the cashmere. The cashmere on the end kind of smooths it out and makes it not quite so dark, not quite so uh, intense with some of that stuff. It seems to smooth it out for uh, whatever reason. I've had cashmere on a lot of other scents, but nothing uh, that had the the incense and clove and nag champa in it. So I think it's a good mix on that. To kind of take the uh, the 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 really bite and the edge off of uh, the tobacco clove in six and non champa, if you will. All right, so that was gin. That'll be available through the end of the month. And then last up, we have Freya. Freya. I'm not sure exactly how you say that. So this one is uh, Worship Musk, Raspberry, Warm Vanilla, and Oak. And you do get the Raspberry, Warm Vanilla. I, I, some some people said it was uh, it was like well, feminine. I don't get feminine out of it. It is a little bit more uh, gender neutral. But because of that musk in it, it definitely has more of a manly take. I thought when I saw somebody else say that it was uh, a little bit on the uh, feminine side, I was like, okay, well, maybe it's going to be too feminine. But because of the musk and the oak in it, I really don't get that. I, I get it a little bit like out of the bottle, but it doesn't stay vanilla and raspberry the whole time. Uh, I tend to not like a really strong kind of authentic vanilla scent because it just becomes sweet vanilla and that's all I get. I definitely get the musk and the oak. 
on this one as well, and it smoothed out, and uh, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, this one's like the lighter, lightest out of them, but I would still definitely consider it a, a medium scent. Most of these uh, scents from Mythical tend to be on the strong side. Let me know in the comments, do you like strong scents or not? And by the way, if you have not tried a, a butter from Mythical Beards, uh, let's see if I've got this one open here. No, let's try this next one. So I haven't tried all of these butters. I know I've tried all of the oils. So here is the Frasia butter. So it is uh, on the light side. So it is, um, it's a poured butter, but it is not super thick. So this one's a good one for nighttime. It's going to absorb in pretty fast. And that Legend Blend butter has seven butters in it just by itself. So I, I wanted to make sure to mention that. So the carrier oils, you're not going to find a better list of carrier oils. So for the, the butter on this, you got shea, mango, murumuru, kokum, calendula, baobab, term, and turmeric or turmeric uh, uh, butters in it. And then you've got ostrich oil. Here's your um, legend blends. So ostrich oil, castor oil, Jamaican black castor, meadow foam, pomegranate, argan, jojoba, avocado, res raspberry, uh, red raspberry, sea buckthorn, marula, and squalane. And then also think that the butter has a little bit of beeswax, but it's not thick at all. Uh, one of the, 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 it's more on the liquidy side, if you will. All right, um, so if you have not tried the butter, uh, or the oil from Mythical Beards. Highly recommend it. One of the best feeling things I've ever put in my beard. Uh, the scents you may or may not like them depends on if you like stronger scents or not, but they're going to last you a good uh, a good long while. So anyway, check out Mythical Beards. Check out these scents. All three of these are limited. They'll be around for at least a couple more weeks, but after that, uh, you may not be able to find them. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.